create it. We will create sign in method. So open buzzer API, SRC, users, then open users controller. Then after sign up, I'm creating a new method function. This is also a post method sign in. And it will be async sign in for sign in we need a dto like sign up so open folder dto and under dto create a new file user sign in dot dto dot ts and open sign up what we can do is this is our to field that we need in sign in that is email and password so we can copy this and user sign in dto export class user sign in dto and paste it and we have to import this this is from class validator it also from class validator this also from class validator and it's user sign in dto there is two fields that is common for user sign in dto and user sign up dto so what we can do is remove this common field from user sign up dto and we can extend user sign up sign in dto okay and save it okay it also have to save now close this sign in here from body decorator we are getting user sign in dto that is type user sign in class user sign in dto class okay now return we have to call a service function and send a send user sign in dto data to this function so first let's open user sign in user service file and after user sign up I think sign up and create a new method for user sign in and sign in and it will receive user sign in dto and that is type user sign in dto now open user controllers we can send out these dot user service dot sign in and we have to send user sign in dto okay now we got our email and password so first we have to see if there is existing user if the user exists then we have to compare the password if the password is compared positively then the user will sign up sign in so in missing sign up function we have created this find users by email this function here to see if there is any user with this email so we can copy this function then here paste it now user it's user sign in dto dot email okay return user exists okay and save this to file let's see what it return my server is running if your server is not running then please run the server okay next open postman here is sign up now we need sign in and remove name we don't need this but we have to send email and password and we have this email password email and user with this email so we have to found find this user so let's send a request email is available sign in let's see what is the problem sign in sign in okay this says that this email is available not available that means it's working so what we can do now save it 
ओके ओपन एगेन पोस्ट वन नाउ आई एम सेंडिंग दिस ईमेल एंड पासवर्ड वी हैव गॉट आवर इंफॉर्मेशन बट हियर इज द प्रॉब्लम बाय डिफॉल्ट वी हैव दिस ओपन यूजर्स देन एंटिटीज एंड यूजर एंटिटी हियर इन पासवर्ड वी मेक इट सिलेक्ट फॉल्स बाय डिफॉल्ट विद दिस क्वेरी टाइप लाइक फाइंड यूजर बाय ईमेल user report directory that find one by email this will not retrieve the password field but we need to retrieve our password field because we have to compare password not only find by user email we have to also compare the password so calling this function from sign in with this type of function it will not working for us so what can we do this now there are many other options but what i will do is Equal to add these dot user repository dot create query builder. Then what is our entity name? That is table name. That is users. Okay. Dot add select add select and which field we want to retrieve? That is users dot password. Then Where users dot password equal to colon sorry user dot password not user dot password is email email equal to colon email and here after comma brackets email email and and this is our passing email from user sign in dto so we need actually user sign in dto dot email okay and we are get one get one okay now save this file open your terminal no problem found let's open postman and create another request with same email and password now let's see what is the response now as you can see we have got our password with every other fields now we can compare this password open yes code if user not exist then we can send request send a error message so if not user exist then we can say throw new that is copy and paste email is not available we can say bad written shells okay but if get then we can send return user exists but we didn't compare password yet to password compare const match pass word equal to we need compare method from decrypt and after hash we can compare okay here Await, then compare. User sign in dto dot password. Then we have to compare with user exists dot password. Okay. Now, if not match password, then we can throw the same exception to the client. That credentials. Okay. Now, if everything is okay, then we will send the user exists. That means the user. But if the, in this user exists, it remains the password. We are not sending the password to the client. So what we can do is users delete user exists. Sorry, user exists dot password. Will this work? Let's see. Save it and open terminal. No problem found. Then open postman. Now send this email with wrong password five six. Bad credentials. Okay. Now let's send with correct password. We have got everything what we needed. So we have successfully sign in. But sign in is not complete yet. We have to create a access token and send it. Along with this user object, 
open user controller and sign in method now we have to store in, in a variable user you have to have it this user service dot sign in now we got our user and we will create a access token with this with this user so what we will do const access token equal to await this dot user service dot access token this method is not yet created we will create and we are sending user and we have to create this function in user service and after async find user by email i am going to create this async access token then user and its user entity this user is type of user entity class now return sign and sign is from json web token if you remember or not i have mistakenly installed two packages before that is json web token and types json web token package dot json file here i have installed earlier json web token and types json web token if you not yet install this please install it okay now sign id id is user dot id and email user dot email but it should be in object so test it now after second bracket or curly brace we have to need a access token secretly and that will come from our environment file dot env here access token secret key for now i set it just random values but there is a proper way to read these values okay and save it now close here process dot env dot access token secret key and after this we need expires in expires in and it will also come from env file so open again env file and i am copying this access token secret key now access token secret access token x fire time and it's 30 minutes save it open user service and here process dot env dot access token x fire time let's see access token x fire time okay and set this now open user controller we have got access token then we are going to return access token and user okay save this file save user service save env dot env file okay now open terminal and restart the server so i am restarting this server no problem found let's open postman and send request okay we have got our access token along with user object now we can improve it and user service in user service sign in and what it will return it will return from his user entity so you can copy from this and paste it or you can type it and here access token what is return a promise string here is promise string so save this and go user controller we have to set there is there also what is return it's returning access token a string user is user entity so copy this and paste it and save this okay no problem found again open postman 
and let's send a request and we have got what we needed so we have successfully created our sign in method next we will improve our controller and functions and tap till then 